Hi everybody and welcome back to my Sims 3 Legacy Challenge. Um, little Annie is just on her way to school. Um, everybody else is just getting taken care of this morning. Um, sounds like Oscar's trying to catch something. What are your traits like, Madonna needs more like? Your social is really down. Really down. So what we're going to get you to do then. Did you catch anything? Don't think. Nope, you didn't. Right. Come on in. Um, and yeah, go here. And then I'm going to get Yuri to show you some loving, my darling. Because you really do. Um, you really do need your social up. Oh, little mister. Little mister, we'll deal with you in a minute, okay? Awesome, well done. Right, Yuri, I know you're cleaning, my darling, but as soon as you've done that, I want you to go and... Um, give him some affection. Um, we need to get his... His social up. His social is way, way down. So, we are going to care for you as well by giving you a brush and play with you by just having some fun. That should take care of you. You finish cooking and then you're going to have to let Mr. Man out of his high chair. I think he's okay. His social's down and he needs to go potty. So, finish what you're doing. We will then give him some love and attention. Okay, so our cell started. Big deal. Right, what's good? Come on, Mr. Is everybody stuck? Is everybody stuck? It's kind of like he's frozen. I never ever lag, so I don't know what is going on. Let's just whisk through and see if anybody moves. There we go. Seems like Yuri was just a little bit glitched out or whatever, but... He's, he's taken care of now. Come on. Yori, would you please just go and do what I've asked you to do? Because, like, seriously, dude. Do I need to reset you? No? Are we taken care of? Was she just in the way? Right, Missy. Don't get anything to eat just yet. Go and... Um, pick him up. And we will... Um, attack him with the claw. And snuggle him and toss him in the air and then we are going to come on well it's not letting us potty train him yet so is he already potty trained he could well be potty trained already i don't remember i don't remember what we've done with him and what we haven't his social's going up let's just see if you put him down on the floor okay she went swimming she must have gone swimming with school then is she not going to school? Are you skipping school, sweetheart? You're out of sorts. That's fine. You don't want to be the animal rescuer. We're not going to promise you that. Are you meant to? You meant to be at school. No. Why are you not at school? It's Monday. Why are you not at school? You got on the school bus. I've got no idea. Well, shout out when she gets home. She obviously should have been at school and she's not not quite sure what's going on there. At all. But anyway, right. Mister. Oh, well. No, you can't. You, you haven't potty trained yourself. Right. Okay. Go and... You're in trouble, young lady. Go and... Um... Change his dirty diaper, and then I want you to potty train him a couple of times. Yes, we will do that. Mr. Yori, darling, what are you doing? You're having something to eat, that's fine. Then, can you please go ahead for me and clean that, and then you need to pee. And you need to take a shower. Because I think you're at work today. Is it a special day? Is that... But the bus came for her. Oh, no. No, it's definitely not a special day. She should be at school. And you're chatting to him. Look, come home. And get told off for not being at school. I'm not quite sure why you're not at school, my darling. Skipping school. Oh, you are in trouble. 
In trouble. Okay. She's a little bit of a rebel, is our Annie. Oh, well, that was a bit of a weird one. Right, let's... Oop. I'm not very good with this camera at all. That looks a bit better. There we go. Right, so, yeah, you potty train him. And there's me looking at the sky. It's quite a pretty town, to be fair. How are you doing? Do you need anything, sweetheart, after you finish potty training him? You are hungry, so after you finish potty training him, why don't you go and grab some of those? There's something off with that angle. That looks a bit better. Um, Go and grab a plate. Oh, God, Grab a plate. Um, Oscar, darling, how are you doing now? Your social's up, so come here and scratch. Yes, and then I want to let you take a nap because you, you do need a nap. And you, young lady, are about to get told off. Like, seriously. Yobby, are you going to tell her off? Somebody needs to tell her off. Scold her for skipping school. Um, No. Nobody's going to tell her. Um, listen, well, you're going to get told off, hopefully. <laughs> Nobody's telling her off for skipping school at all. Well, maybe they're just too oblivious to the fact that... Oblivious to the fact that she should be at school. Nearly, I'm not quite sure how far he is with his potty training. We'll watch when she puts him back on now. See how far he is off. Oh, she's finished with him. Okay, well, we'll, we'll finish potty training him in a minute. Okay. Are you at work today, dude? Starting seven hours. Well, that's, that's a while off. Okay, go and... You're having a water... Go on, then. Go have a water balloon fight with your daughter. It's fine. Go on. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You, Missy, finish eating. Then clean up and then you're going to have to go and potty train this dude again. Because we want that done. Potty train him. He should be pretty much done. Should be. Oscar, darling, did I not tell you? Oh, you're still scratching. Go and have a nap. Go on. And then... When you finish that, can you pay the bills and get the... No. There's no mail to get, just bills. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what's going on in this episode, to be fair. It's kind of a bit all over the place. Is she pregnant again? I'm pretty sure we got her pregnant again. I can't remember, you know. I cannot remember whether she is actually pregnant or not. I'm pretty sure we did get her pregnant, but we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can try. Actually, I know the easiest way to do this. Can she go to university? Smartphone. Enroll in boarding school? No. No, she can't enroll in university, so she's definitely pregnant. He is almost potty trained. That's awesome. Sweetheart. Can you please make your bed? No one's even noticed that you've si um, skipped school, missus. Well done, mister. You're potty trained. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What's this? Animal rescue. We know we're not going to promise you that, sweetheart. Um, do homework. Yes, we can promise you that. I'm playing the family fun water arena. No, we're not going to promise you that. Um, do your homework then, even though you skipped school. Because you're a bad girl. You, my darling. Gonna hold hands with him. That's fine. That is fine. And then when you've held hands with him, I want you to empty this potty and stuff. And then we're going to try teaching what is wrong with his head. That's a bit weird. Okay, so you can mop up the puddle. You can empty that. And then I want you to teach him to talk, actually. Teach to talk. 
And you, my darling, you're gonna go off to work soon. What is your thing like for work, actually? Your mood's fine, your guitar's okay, your band members is fine. We need to work on your performances, so we can do that. That's not an issue. You're skipping school because you're a bad girl. You're a bad, bad girl. Oh, what are you going to do? Toss him in the air. That is fine. Your energy's fine. Everything else is taken care of. How are you, sweetheart? Actually, do you know what? Stop. Don't toss him. Well, you can toss him in the air, but I want you to teach him to talk. Teach him to talk. While mummy here has a pee and gets a shower. Poor woman, still in her pyjamas and she's stinking. Oh, no, she's not in her pyjamas, she got changed. But she was in her pyjamas a minute ago, so there we go. So daddy's going to teach you to talk. And everyone is doing pretty okay. Your energy level is still down, mister. I mean... You want to play with the cat toy. Well, your cat toy was all the way over here last time I remember seeing it. Do you actually have anything in your inventory? You do. You do. You've got a card worth 116. Good lad. You've got an ant worth 37. That's pretty good going. And we have a... Well, it's a guinea pig. I don't care what they've called it. So that, that wasn't too bad. Um, I can't find your cat toy. Somebody might have cleaned it up. So... That's okay, we will, um, you can get a toy when you finish sleeping. Oh, well, let's just cancel that action. Well, play with the toy then, and then go to sleep again, it's fine. You don't like sleeping in that bed at all, do you? At all, you prefer to sleep anywhere but the bed. How are you doing with the talking, mister? That's coming along pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Non-destructive, and he's a hunter. We know that. Independent, friendly, and neat. Awesome. If you finished your homework, darling, you're still doing your homework. And then you kind of need to pee. Good girl, you've done your homework. So use that and take a shower. And what are you going to do? You're going to paint. That's fine, you paint us a picture then. I'm seriously considering getting you a um, computer or something. What? You're stir crazy. You need to go out somewhere. Um, I forgot what your traits are. It's been that long since I made you. I have really forgotten what your traits are. Um, there it is. Okay, so she's artistic. She's not computer whiz so we're not going to be doing any of the hacking or anything like that but that's fine she can paint us some decent pictures she can oh there's that missing toy there we'll pull that back over here and put it away so it doesn't get lost okay the carpool's coming for him in an hour that's okay is that going to be enough time to finish that off? It might be, you know. We'll leave him at it. We'll leave him at it. We will. I'm just going to actually whiz through this little bit because nobody's doing anything particularly entertaining. He still wants to increase his guitar skill. That, um... Things going to be here for me. She, no, she's not even getting... Share a secret. Oh. Listen to a joke. I don't know what's going on with him, so. Um, okay, Mr. Yori. Finish that. Finish that. Go to work. And you, my darling, no, you're not watching TV. You can finish teaching him to talk. Yes, you can. And then we need to actually have a check of him. How's he doing? He's actually doing pretty okay. We'll feed him on the floor in a minute and put him in his crib after he's learned to talk. And you, my darling, are pretty much okay. You do need something to eat, though. So why don't you grab... No. Why don't you grab some goopy carbonara? That's not what I wanted you to do. Mamma mia. Okay, he's learned to talk. We'll sort you out in a second. You, sweetheart, eat leftovers. A goopy carbonara. And sorry guys, I've got a 
fly buzzing around the room in here and it's annoying me. Right, so you've learned to talk. That is fine. So I want you to... You. To... Feed him on the floor. Yes, feed him on the floor. Hope you've got these for selling as well, my darling. Let's get rid of these. Sure, you can talk. You can talk. If you can hear that clattering upstairs, that is my daughter getting it into bed. Probably in a bad mood because she's been told off for something. So she's probably being deliberately noisy in the minute, but whatever. That's kids for you. Okay, so... You're feeding him on the floor. That's fine. Go on, feed him on the floor. Your energy's a little bit low. Your hunger's not too bad, so you can watch some TV. And then you, my sweetheart, after you've finished eating, I want you to go to bed. Go and sleep. Actually, no, no, don't do that. When he's finished eating on the floor, you can put him in his crib. So put Walter into crib. Then you can watch some TV. There. And that's, oh, sorry guys, smacking the microphone, that's him and her and, well, pretty much everybody sorted out. You want to throw a birthday party for Walt. When does Walter age up? Um, 12, what's going on? Has he just aged, no, that's her. Has he just aged up? No, he hasn't. She's just discovered she's pregnant, I think. <laughs> I think she has just discovered she's pregnant. Not sure though. Right. Yes, she's just put maternity clothes on. So put him into bed. We're going to have to change those maternity clothes, my darling. Seriously, we are. And I'm not quite sure where the hair came from either. But okay, whatever. We'll go with it. Just found out she's pregnant. That's fine. So put Mr. Man in his bed so his sister can go to sleep. Oh, well. Yeah. Put him to bed. And he's not aging up for another five days. So you can throw him a birthday party when he ages up. That's fine. Um, you want to increase your cooking skill. Give Oscar a flea bath. We're going to cancel that one. Um, buy a toy of him. We're who with Yori. We'll definitely promise you that one. Right. So you go and watch some TV. Let baby go to sleep. And then we are going to get you to sleep as well. So I am going to um, pause right here, guys. And I will get back to you when they all wake up in the morning. And good morning guys, we are up this morning, um, Annie has headed off to school, it is her birthday today so we're going to have to make her a birthday cake, um, these two are getting all lovey dovey at the minute, I want you to come and clean up this please, oh baby I know you need to pee, well go on then, put yourself on the potty, no one's stopping you, use your potty chair, go on, go on. And what are you going to go and do, mister? You're going to go and clean the... That's fine. You go and clean that. That's okay. He's using the potty chair. He just needs to learn to walk, actually. So we'll probably have um have them work on that with him today. Oscar's been very, very good um, catching a few things. We'll have a look at what he's got. But his social is down again. So I am going to have Yuri go and... Have you finished? Yeah, don't go to sleep on the bed. Yori, can you come and um, feed him a treat? Come on, stop missing it. There we go. And talk to him. And pet him. Let him sniff your hand. And um, care for him by giving him a brush. And then we'll see what his social is like then. Um, Annie, my darling... Can you... Oh, we can't bake a cake in this one. We have to buy one. So that's okay. We will buy one. Um, your hygiene's a little bit down, but that's okay. Go here. You're not watching TV. I want you to teach this little man to walk. Because that's all he needs. Um, teach to walk. That's all he needs. So we'll teach him to walk a couple of times and we'll see how we get on. Your social is going up, so that is fine. Oh, don't hiss at him. Come on, don't be a bad kitty. Don't be a bad kitty. Right, what have we got in here? We have a beetle. And we have crap. We have a pigeon. 
We have more crap. And oh, a rare turtle. Good boy, Oscar. Good boy, Oscar. And how is your social doing now? Your social is up. Your energy is not too bad, but we're going to let you pee. We're going to let you scratch and we're going to let you have a nap. And then we'll send you out hunting again. Can you, you're recycling that. So that's fine. I'll see if I can drag that to the bin for you. There we go. I'll help you out. She's teaching him to walk and little Missy is slacking off at school because it is her birthday today. So I figured she could have an easy day. She's not doing particularly well in school anyway. It's, it's not in her, um, the slacking off. She, she's failing. She's a failing student. Um, she's starting to feel a little bit sad, I think, is Annie. She's starting to feel a little bit pushed out with the baby. And um, another one on the way. So I think I think she's just feeling very, very sad and very, very down. And, and there's something going on with her. Um, I don't know what it is. But there's something going on that's making her unhappy and miserable. And... And she's she's not enjoying school so I don't know we're gonna have to try and figure her out figure out what is going on with her fairly soon how is he doing with his learning to walk he is doing fine I know we're getting close to the end of this episode but I do want to see her age up we've got like three minutes left but I do want her to have her birthday party so it may run over a little bit because I think I think it's important um, I think it's important that we watch her birthday this time. So, we're going to whiz through because I know I keep playing on like speed three a lot, but they're just doing ordinary stuff, teaching the kids to walk and leveling up his guitar and stuff like that. I've, I've noticed that the sound stops on the guitar, which is awesome because it was starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Okay, so you're doing fine. You're okay. But you're not doing well at school. You're pretty much okay. When you finish teaching him to walk, we are going to use that and have a quick shower. We are because I think... Um, excuse me, guys. Sorry, I've got a fly right on my computer screen. And it's one of those great big f horrible ones. Gross. Um, that's because we've had nice hot weather and the windows have been open all day. Okay, where are you going, mister? You were meant to be sleeping. No, don't go there and react neutrally to him. Go to sleep. In fact, why don't you go and sleep on her bed? Just sleep there. Go on. Is he nearly done learning to walk? He looks like he is, you know. He really does. He's not. He's, he's picking these things up very quickly as our Walter. Very, very quickly indeed. There we go. Good lad. He's learnt to walk. And they're all very proud. You don't need to keep teaching him to walk. He already knows how to walk. Go and get ready for the party. Go on, because we're gonna we're gonna invite people over to the party. In fact, I'm gonna get you to You need to eat something. Go and eat. Eat leftover carbonara. Go on. Cause you're gonna need a shower as well. And then we can have a party. How are you doing, mister? Your hygiene's not great, but everything else is pretty much okay. So we're not going to stress. Sorry, this this fly has just decided to like my monitor. We're not going to stress. Um, You'll get to see your sister's birthday party, and that is the main thing. Come on, we're through. She'll be home from school any minute, and then we need to get this party going so that we can watch her age up. Did you just break the shower when everybody else needs to use it? Right, you know what? We don't have time for this. We do not have time for it. We don't buy mode. That's what I'm looking for. Let's sell that naked old shower. We've got some money now, so let's not stress about it. Let's not worry. We want a newer shower and we want a better one than the one we had. Why don't we go for that one? There. We'll go for that one. Much better. I still get confused now switching between The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. I do. Right, so that's that taken care of, sweetheart. Why don't you then... It'll be in your inventory because we're in The Sims 3. Um, 
throw a party. And you, Mr. Yori, you're going to have a bath. All right, we'll have a bath then. I don't care. And how are you doing, sweetheart? Why don't you go and take a quick nap on your brother's bed? Just have a nap. Because you, you need to be in a good mood for your party. Right, I still haven't worked out why it's doing that, but I don't care. We'll sort it out. So we will start it at 5 p.m. Go away, we're having the party first. Right, and then we are going to invite over... Um, let's see. We just want your brother and your sister, really, don't we? We're going to invite him. We're going to invite your sister. I don't think... No, we haven't. So we're just going to invite those. And we're going to say casual attire. And it is a birthday party. In casual. Yes. Because it reset. There we go. And the party will start at five. So that's fine. We don't need to get too much done. Okay, darling. But you can mop, mop it up. Come on. You've got a puddle right there. Why can't you mop it up? Whatever. Whatever. Um, Let's see. Go and clean this up then. Clean that up. How's Mr. Man doing? Mr. Man's doing okay. We'll send him to use his potty chair. And then she can probably change his clothes. And we will quickly jump in and buy a cake. No. Buy mode. And it's in outdoors as far as I remember. And other than that, I can't remember. So, outdoor activities, probably. Yep, birthday cake. There we go. That's that done then. So, we've got a birthday cake for her. And we're pretty much all set for the party. I mean, we're not having a major party. We're just having a little party just for you, my darling. Just for you. He's using his potty. Mr. Yori is taking a bath, which is fine. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up when you've had your bath. Because people are probably starting to arrive. You can use that. And then you, sweetheart. Are you putting that away? Yeah. And then can you change his clothes? Uh, change his diaper and change his clothes to every day. I don't know what he's screaming for. And the guests are starting to arrive. That's okay. Do we have to invite you in? Do you not just invite yourselves in? Yeah, see? No, you can't do anything. Can you... Um... He always stands outside. He never comes in. Never mind. Yeah, Yori, we need to get your daughter blowing out a birthday candle. So go here. You, darling, wake up and blow out your birthday candles and age yourself up. That's what we need to do. Come on, quick, 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 so we can see what you look like. And then we can give you your makeover and whatever quickly. And You, can you just just go? Go and see her. That's it. That's it. He doesn't care. He's, he's just gone. Sitting in a corner like a goofball, but whatever. He's gone to work, but that's fine. You got to see her blow out her candles. So that is the main thing. Back on to speak one so we can try and work out what's going on. Can you do anything to him? Friendly sniff. Annie's reached her teen years, so let's have a look at you. Your outfit leaves a lot to be desired, my darling. It does, but let us have a quick look at you in Cass, and then... Oh, you're unfortunate looking. You're unfortunate looking. Oh, dear. Let's see, let's see if we can limit the damage. Let's see if we can limit the damage. Give you a complete makeover. Let's have a look at you. You know, with the right hair, I don't think you would be that bad. 
to be fair. So let's have a look at your hair. Um, and those eyebrows, those eyebrows have got to go, sweetheart. They have. Okay, so you're a bit of a rebel, aren't you? So why don't we go with that? And we're going to put it in a custom colour because she is a rebel. And I've always wanted dark purple hair. So why don't we go with like a purple. Copy it down there. Oh, with nice streaks in it. And copy it up there. And copy it there as well. Let's have a look at you. I actually quite like that. You're a rebel. We're going to go with that. Right, those eyebrows, my darling. Mm, you might not actually be that bad looking when we get your eyebrows and stuff sorted out. So we're going to have them... Have I got any custom eyebrows? Yeah, but I don't think they're that nice. Um, no. Let's have a look. About, no. I really need to go eyebrow shopping because none of these are doing it for me. Okay. You need more eyelashes, that's better. Um... Okay. All right, we'll match your root colour. They're not too horrendous. Okay. We need to go eyebrow shopping. We do. Okay, so let's have a look. At, we're not changing that. We're changing it. Oh, no, 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 we haven't We haven't done. We, we need your makeup. Come on. Packs of hair. I can't remember. Go away. I'm getting so confused as to what I'm meant to be doing. Right. Personality. Clothing looks. Makeup should be in here. Yes, it should. Um, makeup. Let's have a look. Right. If we can give you a smoky eye. Tone that down a lot. That's actually quite cute on you, I have to say. And I do love your eyes. Your eyes are beautiful. That's actually quite a nice look for you. And then we will give you a decent eyeliner. Uh, this one. Tone it down just a bit. Too much. Too much. What about this one? Tone it down. That's a better smoky eye look, isn't it now? And then give you some blusher. I actually like that one on you, just toned down slightly. And lipstick. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened there. That is not what I asked you to do. It's meant to, oh, okay, I'll take that off. It's meant to be a nose thing. And I'm not quite sure what happened. But that one just seems to mess the eyes up completely. Okay. So let's have a look at what we have. We have this one here. Which is kind of a bold look. Tone it down. I actually quite like that. You, you're actually quite pretty like that. You've got a weird shaped nose. You are a bit of a rebel. So we will go with that. And those clothes, my darling, no, 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 no. See, you're a rebel without a clue. So we need short skirts, leather pants, that sort of thing. Now, I don't think I have any leather pants for girls at all. I don't think I do. Jeans, I've got short skirts. Huh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. But we need a nice top to go with it. Um tops. Again, we need something kind of gothic looking because she's she's not completely goth, but she's kind of rebel, wannabe goth, wannabe punk. Not quite sure where she is, but she just wants anything that's gonna get a reaction out of people. I think she's feeling kind of lost. Mm. 
That's quite cute. The shoes have got to go. She's feeling quite lost and invisible, I think. So she's going for any look that's going to evoke a reaction out of people. And her dad's not going to care. Like, her dad's really not going to be bothered because he's surrounded by people that look like this all the time in his line of work. Are we going for shoes? Or are we going for boots? I'm not quite sure. I do quite like those shoes, actually, I have to say. But I do have some kind of hookerish looking boots around about as well. Like those, and those would go with the outfit as well. I think I prefer the shoes, in all honesty. I do think I prefer those shoes. Um. So yeah, I mean, a dad is around... What's, what are these? A dad is around that kind of look all the time. So it's not going to phase him in the slightest. And I don't think, in all honesty, it would bother a mum that much. But, like, school and things like that are going to be kind of what do you think you're doing type Love thing it. yeah really no darling no 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 let's have a look what we've got in the pre-made outfits because this episode is running a little bit long but i know you guys are going to want to see the makeover so that's cool but not those boots i don't think let's see what else we've got she might go for something like this with the corset. That actually really suits her. And you know, you can't see the shoes, but I'm going to stick her some black shoes on as well. Um, because you kind of need... I might just stick her the same shoes on. You kind of need black shoes to match. But I think that actually, even though it's long, I think that actually fits her personality quite well. Right, sleepwear. You would not wear pink fuzzy slippers, I can tell you that much now. So we're going to go for the naked feet. And you are more likely to wear... Now, you can't be walking around in anything too revealing because you're kind of living at home. You know, so you're not going to be walking around in anything overly revealing. What's this? No. So you wouldn't walk around in that at home. You wouldn't, but I don't see anything really there that would match her personality either, so maybe this the llama t-shirt and yeah the llama t-shirt I think but not them, maybe they're kind of alien like but again they fit her personality so I think we'll go with that athletic wear, I can't see you as an athlete sweetheart, in all honesty I can't I think it would be anything and everything you could to get out of it. I really do. So, um, I honestly think if you had to wear anything, you'd probably kind of go for something like that. But not with pink. No, definitely not with pink. It's like some black or whatever. And swimwear. Batibusa? Um... No. No, no, no. What would you wear? Nothing really screams at me, in all honesty. It doesn't. I mean, if if she thought she'd get away with it, she'd probably walk around in the she, uh, she shell? No, sea shell bra. But I can see her deliberately wearing something like that for the attention. I can. I really can. And... The skull and crossbones actually probably would suit her personality, but not in that colour. So can I change the colours? Let's have a look. Creator style. Not really, because it's... Yeah, maybe, or... Oh, now, I think, I think that... Definitely. Although I could do a change in the colour to black. And this one to kind of a whitey colour, so it stands out a bit more. There we go. And that would be black and that would be white. Yeah, I think that would do it. I think that's it. So that is going to be our Annie. She is now our rebel. She is our rebel. Um, 
maybe some jewelry on her everyday outfit. Let's put your everyday on. It's it's a bit slow, this guy. Sorry, and I am very very indecisive sometimes when I'm so, so. making um Sims and stuff like that. I would like her to maybe have a necklace or something. If I can find one that matches. Earrings. Yes, she would definitely have earrings, I think. Probably something like that. Yep, we will go with those. And necklace. Well, to be honest, if she's going for the... Um, rebel look, I think that actually is a pretty good job. We will call that done. So this is Annie, our little rebel. I don't think I got to choose I any traits like for her, actually. I think they're already taken care of until she becomes an adult now. So she is pretty much taken care of. Let's have a look at you. Oh, your traits and stuff. Oh, it must have chosen for her. She's adventurous, workaholic, hates the outdoors and grumpy. Well, okay. It chose for her. And her favourites are epic, vegetarian grilled salmon. How do you have a vegetarian salmon? That makes no sense whatsoever. And yellow is her favourite colour for some bizarre reason. So now we have got our little rebel ready. Um, I am going to call this an episode because, like I said, we have run over. But I did want you to see the makeover of Annie. Um... Big plans for this young lady, I really do. So watch this space because there's a twist coming. There always is, but there's a twist coming. So brain just completely gone dead. Anyway, forget it. Never mind. It'll come back to me. If you enjoyed the series, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. As always, leave your comments and suggestions in the comments box down below. And I need to start writing down, guys. If you, oh, sorry, I am throwing stuff all over the place. If you want to give me suggestions for baby names, because we're going to have babies in this one, and I'm having babies in Sims 4, and things like that. So if you want to leave me suggestions for your baby names, go right ahead, and I will start writing them down so that I could start reeling them off the only um limitation i have on that is in this let's play our last born girl is going to be called brenda after my auntie that died recently so that is the only limitation but other than that fire those names away at me and i will keep a list and start working down it and hopefully eventually get to your names um and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'm going to see you guys in the next episode ciao for now guys